What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is Thirsty Thursday, and it is week four in the NFL. We have the Falcons versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on tap, and i got to get my bets in for my dad, of course, uh, with BetUS. I think he wants to take Tampa Bay in the two and uh, take the over in that game. So definitely we'll be watching that to see how it goes. We have, um, here's a couple of things with the Devontae Adams situation, okay? Um, Devontae Adams, of course, has allegedly a hamstring issue that's going to keep him out for a couple of weeks. So the thought is teams are going to kind of slow the roll a little bit to let the uh, Raiders take that, you know, basically gets paid a million dollars a game, um, take their time getting this thing done so that way they're not incurring that extra million dollars a week. Um, Steven Jones, Steven Jones, a.k.a. Catboy, return of the Mac, was asked about having Devontae Adams. Now, now here's the thing. Here's the thing that you cannot do. You can't answer right now and say, oh, yeah, we're interested. We're going to try and trade for him, you know, because we, we, we of course, want him. You can't do that. Because he is somebody else's property. They own his rights and his contract. So you can't go through and say, oh, yeah, we're trying to trade for him. You can. And this is the response. And, and I, let's be clear here. I, I actually, when Stephen Jones says something, you can actually believe it. When he says this kind of stuff, <sighs> it just literally just makes you just want to get depressed and just sleep. No, I don't think there's anything to that. We just signed our number one guy, C.D. Lamb, and Adams is a number one receiver. When you have the challenge cap-wise that we have, that would be a long putt for us. Yeah. Not a surprise. Um, not a surprise. Maybe they look elsewhere or more than likely they'd look nowhere. I love some of the tweets behind it. A queen is just a king's bitch. Okay. She said, they got Dak signed, didn't they? You people want everything. I'm fine with that. It would be weird for them to get two number ones unless they were loaded to make a Super Bowl run. I like to get Coop back. He has a low cap hit. That's a reasonable statement. Or just bring the damn guy in to be too good this year and worry about the cap problems next year instead of being bad both years. The challenges that you put yourself in. Um, I, I think the problem is Cap Boy went to school to be a chemical injury, engineer. Chemical engineer. He didn't go to school for capology. Sounds like something an incompetent franchise would say. I want one media member to ask Stephen Jones why the Cowboys continue to stress their cap issues when every single other team that considers themselves contenders can make moves. And that's more like it. In other news today, um, we're having a hard time catching a break because Trayvon Diggs um, has an ankle injury. He ended up landing on the injury report, um, left the field from practice. You know, Not that there was a helicopter landing today. At least there wasn't that. Um, but he was walking around in the locker room, so maybe the Cowboys dodged a bullet on that one. But unfortunately, we still have Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones, so there's that. Um, Apostle of the Anarchy. Did anyone ask how the Eagles were able to have to pay two top wide receivers, a top paid quarterback, and still make it work with having the fourth highest dead cap space? And I'll add to that, signing Saquon Barkley. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
It's hard right now being a Cowboy fan. Meanwhile, the 49ers have paid all their weapons, and he's crying about two. Laugh out loud. It's like Dak's rookie deal. They signed nobody and has not. Five and 12. They should ask the better question like, are they open to trading for a quality starting wide receiver that they can afford? Good question. Challenges. Challenges. $24 million in cap space. Who's asking him these questions while knowing they'll give them the same damn answers? They're cheap. We know this by now, and that's why they'll never win anything notable because they worry about the future money. I, I, I will too. You know, that couple of these have really got me thinking. When do we ever start looking at it and saying, you know, that might be expensive, but, you know, it, or, or saying, instead of saying that, I'd like to hear, I don't think that player's not going to get us to a Super Bowl. I, I would rather hear that, that you'd say, we have a plan to get to the Super Bowl, and we don't think that that's going to be part of it. You know, I, I'd rather say that. I, 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 I'm tired of hearing about we can't afford. If you can give me any other reason... Any other, if, if you were to say, you know, he has a sore hamstring right now and can't play maybe for the next three weeks and half the season we're gone and signing him might not be the right thing because he's going to want the ball a lot more. And we did just get CD lamb and maybe there'd be a conflict here and we're looking maybe in another direction. I could understand that, but to go through, you know, when you hear him say, well, we couldn't afford Derrick Henry, as we literally are spending $5.3 million for Trey Lance. $5.3 million for Trey Lance. I think, as a Cowboy fan, you know what? If you took a season... I'm betting if you took a season, you said, you know what? We're going to go out and we're going to get Derrick Henry. You know what? We're going to go out and we're going to trade for like Amari Cooper or Devontae Adams. We're going to try and make a trade for a great defensive lineman. And it did that. And it didn't work. But you showed that you were trying to do something. And you ended up being Capel and having to blow it up. I don't know that fans would be that upset with it as opposed to inactivity. At this time, I think you need to do something for no other reason to give the fans something to hope for. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out, people.